Monty, you guys had uh, high expectations you know, for yourselves coming into the season. Did they have? Or have. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Gracious. <laughs> My bad. 0 <laughs> 1. Um, did they play up to your expectation today? At times. <laughs> At times, but I'm hard to please. Um, I'm very hard to please. Uh, but I think what it showed is you have to start with something. And we start our team with uh, a lot of heart, a lot of guts, a lot of energy. And when you start with having a lot of heart, then you'll have an opportunity to win a lot of ball games. And I told the team after the game, I said the other, the little intricacies that we have to fix up, well, you'll do that over the course of practice, you'll do that over the course of a season. Uh, but you can't fix not having heart. And luckily we have a bunch of guys in there who have a lot of heart, and a lot of fight in them. And uh, yeah, we'll be fine. Seems like a lot of talk around the LaSalle's team is their guards, but it was their, their big guys who put the most points up today. How tough were they? Uh, Zach and uh, mm -hmm. Jarrell Wright. Well, and Jarrell Wright was, was good. He had 14 points on 14 shots, but you know, we'll take that. Um, I thought Steve Zach was a presence. I thought he was a really, really good presence in that 8 for 14. And credit to them, I thought they did a good job of going to this guy, uh, especially Zach. Uh, Devon, you have early foul trouble. Can you uh, speak to the way that Jarvis stepped up there for him? Well, you know, I think we have the type of team where guys will step up each and every night. One of the things that we talk to these guys about is it's not going to be your night every night. It's not going to be your time every half. And when it isn't, uh, we need other people to step up. And I think we have a lot of good players on this team that will be able to step up when someone doesn't have it going or isn't foul trouble or whatever the case may be. Can you talk about the uh, effort you got from Drell tonight and his first collegiate performance? What do you think about uh, his game tonight? I think he drew me absolutely nuts. <laughs> He's, uh, he has a chance to be good. He's going to be good. He, uh, he has some fearlessness about him. Uh, he just, as a freshman, he just doesn't care. And he has some carelessness about him that he's a freshman he just doesn't care. But he's going to be good. He's, he has an opportunity to be very good, a very good basketball player for us. And, uh, I'm excited, you know, but you know, we know what he can do. We know what he does on a daily basis for us. So I'm not surprised that he was able to come on the road and do it as a, as a freshman. But, uh, you know, he, as do we, have a long way to go. Do you have any questions for Jamal Higgins? Jamal, can you talk about uh, going up against Steve Zach tonight and what you thought of the, the match against him? Um, I think he's a good player. Um, I think the, uh, the plays that was running was kind of setting him up so he can get some, some good baskets some deep post position. Um, I don't know, we, we just need to keep him more off the, off the glass a little bit more. He was getting a little bit of uh, tip in and some free bus baskets that were really, really in the challenge of shot about. What have you seen from Jarvis uh, from last year to this year? How has he grown to I think just the mental part of the game, just knowing what to do and what not to do. Like just, just simple things like um, how to get the ball screen and, and when, when to take open shots and when to turn down shots and stuff like that. When, how to put the ball in somebody's hands to come and do some sports. 